created by craftsmen. So for this video I basically just used one shot, the rest was editing and stock footage. If you want to learn something from this video I'll show you some behind the scenes and also some of the editing process. I did a shot of the can using a blue screen and I used some panels to even out the lighting and stop any reflections. The two small lights creates a rim light behind the bottle. We also have the Godox VL150 with the softbox which combined with the panels and the daylight in the room helps light up the whole scene. Lastly we have a Godox SL60 which lights up the blue screen and helps keying out in post. If I were to do this again I would have used another panel to get rid of this darker strip in the middle of the can. There are also some blown out highlights in the corner of the can which can be improved. I basically got the idea for this sequence from one of Daniel Schiffer's latest release. I wanted to learn that technique myself and see what I can do with it and I also wanted to try out Storyblocks so with that being said let's dive into Final Cut. So the first thing we need to do with this clip is to key out the blue background. For that we'll add a key here. Sometimes you need to go into the effect itself, choose color selection, erase the chroma roll-off and the luma roll-off. That way you get sure that all of the background is removed. Next we are going to apply a mask. Go to the first frame of your clip and add points to key out your cam. Now you need to add some keyframes. Make sure that you are on your first frame. Right click on transform and click add. Do the same with the control points. Then you just scroll through your frames and adjust the mask where it's needed. You now have a clean mask of your can with a transparent background. Next I duplicated the clip and stacked it in three layers. So for the bottom layer you are going to choose an effect called flipped. Choose vertical. Then you change the position and turn down the opacity. This creates a fake reflection of the can. Now for the middle one, I use an effect called Glow and combine that with Gaussian Blur. Now you may want to turn down the amount so it's not too strong. Then I went into the color board and changed the color of the blur to match the can. The only thing you need to do now is to add your desired background and try to match the color of your object to the background as best as you can. When you are happy with that, select all three clips and make it into a compound clip. And there you have the basis for the whole video. Next you just play with keyframes, speed ramps and sound design. You can add some text if you want. And just start being creative from here. Now if I'm going to show you every little detail I did in this video it's going to take a really long time. But I will give you some insight into the timeline and show you some things I did. So here you have the first clip, this is mainly speed drums and text. At the end there I added some keyframes to the position to make it look like it slides along the frame and knocks the text out. To do this you add a keyframe on position, maybe two or three frames before the end. Then go to the last frame and move the position to where you want it to be. 
for the next part it is basically the same technique. You have to create multiple layers of the cam and then add keyframes to both the position and the scale in each of these layers to create this effect. Okay, so this is one of the more complicated clips. This is many layers of pictures and stock footage and masking. I had taken six pictures of the cam where I adjusted the opener of the cam a little bit between each frame. I imported those pictures into Final Cut and made them into a compound clip. And then I keyed out the background. And I had to draw a mask around the opener. I had to adjust the mask for each frame to make it fit. I also had to add a mask inside of the two holes in the opener and do the same thing for each frame there. Then I moved the opener over to the can and matched it with the scaling and everything. I laid some stock footage on top with the water being sprayed to make it look like beer was spraying out of the can when it was opened. When matched with sound design and music, it worked out pretty well. And for the ending, this is a picture I got from the website of the brand. I duplicated the picture and stacked it in two layers. Then I added a shape mask and masked out the left side in one layer and the right side in the other. Then I added keyframes again and created this movement. I also added some smoke overlays to make it look more complete. So I hope you got something out of that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And until next time.